about 1820 on a farm in Maryland, one of the greatest of American women was born a slave. In 1835, when she was still only a girl of about 15 years, but already working as a field hand, she was struck in the head by an overseer. She carried the results of that blow for the rest of her life. In 1849, unable to stand slavery any longer, she and two of her brothers escaped. Her brothers became afraid and turned back, but she went on. Whether or not she actually made her way by the Underground Railroad, a network of secret routes over which Negroes traveled in order to reach the free states and Canada is unknown. By the time she made her way to freedom, the railroad was already fairly well organized. But it was under her influence and work as a conductor that the art of escape reached its highest stages of organization. Over a 10-year period, returning again and again to the South, she helped more than 300 slaves to escape. Hers was a most dangerous occupation. And she always carried a gun. But a more practical weapon proved to be the songs of her people. Steal away. Let my people go. Follow the drinking gourd. The Big Dipper pointing north, pointing to freedom. So great was this woman whose name was Harriet Tubman. Her people called her Mo Moses. Moses. There was an old man who got on the train. Sometimes it was a young man and a young woman. And sometimes it was a mother. With a little baby.
Sometimes, when they were bedded down for the night, hidden in some secret place, she would tell them a story. Sing them a song. Maybe about the third time, she went back to the place where she herself had been a slave to lead some more to, of her people north to freedom. And how she fooled old Massa George. <laughs> Waiting for her to the dawning day. The roads was blocked, patrols about to the dawning day. So she prayed, Dear Lord, watch over me. And she went along her way. Hello, my lover. She stopped at the old South Road Mart. Brought a scrawny rooster and a lame foot hen. She hunched her back and cotched her hat. Began to totter and to howl. Well, she looked so old and gray. Well, all at once, my 
Bless the Georgia peace. and pecked and stretched his wings. On her Underground Railroad, she never ran a train off the track. And she never lost a passenger. See me through. And so she started across, and the water got deeper and deeper until it was right over her head, and there wasn't nothing but her hand showing, holding her rifle high in the air to keep her powder dry. And just when they thought 
all was lost, she came on through, safe on the other shore.
neath the bricks in the farmer's wagon. Listen, hear the roar of Niagara's Wellman Falls. Weary, scarred, and foot, and foot sore, sore, but, but free. free, 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 my lord, safe, safe. at, at Freedom Station. Station. Safe in Chindon, broken laws, broken laws, broken laws. Slavery chained on broken laws, I'm gonna praise God to the cross. Oh my lord, how I did suffer in the dungeon. Jean!